not actually a sphere. It's an it's oblate. And officially it's an oblate spheroid. That's what we call it. But not only that, it's slightly wider below the equator than above the equator. A little chubbier. A little chubbier. Yeah. Chubby is a good way. It's like pear shaped. Yeah. So I'm a fan of what Mark Twain said. What's he that? said, first get your facts straight, then distort them at your leisure. <laughs> <laughs> I like there that. you go. Yeah. Neil deGrasse Tyson is nothing more than an actor with the kind of connections that throw up red flags. Some of you are already aware that he is a puppet. Let me strengthen your argument and help those that don't understand. If you go to the IMDB, the Internet Movie Database website, you see that he is listed as an actor. Many of you will say, well, he's a public figure that makes cameos. Nothing strange about it. And I get it. No more than a year and a half earlier, I would honestly say the same thing. Not only that, but a year and a half ago, I was a science buff, as well as a movie buff, a conspiracy buff. I was buffing it up. Let me show you something. I bought a four terabyte external hard drive a few years back and I used, I used to collect science shows and things like that. Inside this hard drive, I have a folder called education. Get that, education. It's, a, it's 818 gigabytes worth of indoctrination. I mean, I have a lot of material in here that's not about space, but I'm still left with tons of space stuff. I even have the cosmos with Neil deGrasse Tyson. I had no idea about the flat earth at this time and I was eating, I was eating up all this science stuff. I used to always think I was helping myself to become intelligent by watching these videos. I was dedicated. There's a science show by BBC called Horizon. I have hundreds of them. I, I have almost every IMAX educational exclusive ever made. All the space ones are here. This kind of stuff is all I cared about for the longest time. Let's see, let's see. Wonders of the solar system. Journey to the edge of the universe. Look, how the universe works. I have all three seasons of this show, and guess what? It's all animated. Never any authentic footage. That's one thing I never used to think about, how all space education is animated about 100% of the time. Okay, the point is I was a genuine science junkie and I feel like I was more into science than people that refuse to budge and face the fact that the mainstream science is lying to us. The mainstream science community. Back to Neil deGrasse Tyson, a man that I used to respect. He is just an actor. It's not just a side job. Let's look at some of his acting. Here he is on Brooklyn Nine-Nine. I know astronomy can seem a little daunting and scientific, but I have a friend who I think can make it pretty interesting. Who this? Hi, Gene. I'm Neil deGrasse Tyson. And I care why? Director of the Hayden Planetarium one of the world's leading astrophysicists, and he's doing me a huge favor. And how do you know Terrence Space Tie? We're gym buddies. <laughs> Damn, Neil deGrasse Tyson! How are you doing that? It's physics, Terry. It's physics. Gina, look, give me two hours. You'll not only pass your exam, you'll gain a deeper appreciation of the universe through which we journey on this spaceship Earth. No big deal, right? If any of you have ever researched Family Guy, then you know that some people who create the show throw a lot of predictive programming in there, you know? I can't believe that came out of Bruce Jenner's vagina. Bruce Jenner is a man. 
No, Brian. That's what the press would have you believe, but he's not. Bruce Jenner is a woman. An elegant, beautiful Dutch woman. Maybe it's Seth MacFarlane, which, by the way, is good friends with Neil. They do a lot of stuff together, and Seth played a large role in bringing the Cosmos series back, hosted by Neil, of course. So there's that. But it's just a cameo, right? Here he is in the Big Bang Theory. Have you seen Howard? I think he's eating lunch. Uh, Sheldon, I wanted to meet Neil deGrasse Tyson from the Hayden Planetarium in New York. I'm quite familiar with Dr. Tyson. He's responsible for the demotion of Pluto from planetary status. I liked Pluto. <laughs> Ergo, I do not like you. But I actually didn't demote Pluto. That was a vote of the International Astronomical Union. If ifs and buts were candy and nuts, we'd all have a Merry Christmas. <laughs> Think about that, Dr. Tyson. That the guy you were telling me about? Oh, yeah. No big deal. Here he is in the TV show, Stargate. You were dead. Oh, ha, ha. And this would be your sister? No, no, Neil, you know, she's not my sister. This is Jennifer Keller, it's Bill Nye, and Neil deGrasse Tyson. You know, from television. No big deal, just a show for hardcore space programming. Now check this out, Neil deGrasse Tyson was on a kid's show called Gravity Falls. This show is so heavy on the Illuminati symbolism, it's ridiculous. Imagine living in the second dimension. Flat minds in a flat world with flat dreams. Just a couple of examples. I plan on digging into this in the future, but um, I don't know if I'll make a video or not. I do have some things to say about Gravity Falls. Anyway, here's Neil's part. Ha <laughs> ha! I feel smarter already. The digits of pi are 3.1, uh, um... 415926, etc. What? Who said that? Mabel? Oh, Dipper, look! Greetings, friends. It is I, Waddles the Pig. What? Waddles, what happened to you? Have you been possessed by the spirit of a nerd? I understand my transformation may be vexing, but I have prepared a presentation. Forgive me, my pig arms are cute and useless. The brain goop! You ate it and built all this, didn't you? This isn't right! The pig goes oink! The pig goes now, the pig goes wherever he can shine the light of knowledge into the darkness of ignorance. Whoa! What the heck, a hedron? How did you do that? I can teach you, Dipper. I can teach you many things. From the secrets of astrophysics to the... Hey! Hey! <laughs> <laughs> this is your greatest invention yet! It could solve every problem of mankind! And bring me many potatoes. Delicious potatoes. <laughs> yummy, yummy. For my fat little pig tummy. What the heck is going on here? Mabel, you are just in time to behold our greatest achievement, the Smarticle Accelerator. Solving that brain puzzle was just the tip of the iceberg. With this, Waddles will be able to solve all the greatest puzzles of the universe. The origin of life, the meaning of existence, why dudes have nipples. He plays the swine. Merriam-Webster's first definition of swine is a very bad person. Just throwing that out there. Let's move on. Zoolander 2, heavy on the MK Ultra symbolism and Illuminati symbolism. During a scene with Hansel having a who am I moment, guess who shows up? It's more than just Neil. Check it out. Who am I? Who am I? Derek? Hey Hansel, are you trying to figure out who you are also? Yep. Who am I? Hey, Katie. Yeah, it's like, when will we find out who we really are? I know, right? Who am I? Neil deGrasse Tyson. Even you don't know who you are? In an ever-expanding universe? 
slowly pulling itself apart into nothingness? What use does the question, who am I, even have? Neil, I gotta say, you're totally blowing my mind right now. That's what I do. I'm Neil deGrasse Tyson, bitch. I'm Neil deGrasse Tyson, bitch. The hell was that? Interesting that Katy Perry showed up. This artist is the epitome of an Illuminati puppet. She doesn't know much, but the people controlling her do. There's a lot of symbolism. You gotta just kind of catch it. We're trying to put a lot of subliminal things in there too. Oh yeah, and this reminds me. On the Illuminati Kids cartoon, Gravity Falls, Mabel wears this shirt with a star that has a rainbow trail. It's like a falling star. Um, and here's Katy Perry at the Super Bowl using the same symbol. I don't know much about this symbol, but I'm certain it's a falling star and it has a very deep spiritual meaning, occult meaning. Moving on, let's look at Neil deGrasse Tyson in Batman vs Superman. This is the reason I'm making this video. I took my oldest son to see it and there he was, reinforced. He's acting in big Hollywood productions more and more. He's soon to be in the new Ice Age movie where they take on space somehow, obviously. Uh, he's already doing the voiceover for the preview. Since the beginning of time, we have wondered how the universe came to be. A gloriously orchestrated plan or something much, much dumber. But in the movie, he's set to play a character called, <laughs> get this, Neil DeBuck Weasel. Are you f kidding me? Neil DeBuck Weasel? More food for thought. Miriam Webster's second definition of weasel. <laughs> He he even has on his Jesuit son worshiping vest, uh, you know? Come on, it's so obvious now, especially all this space programming for kids. More and more people are starting to be able to see right through this. Are you gonna be able to do it? The Earth looks flat because one, you're not far enough away at your size. Two, you're... Your size isn't large enough relative to Earth to notice any curvature at all. There's a growing anti-intellectual strain in this country. That many, that it may be the beginning of the end of our informed democracy. And if you want to think the world is flat, go right ahead. But if you think the world is flat and you have influence over others, as would successful rappers or even presidential candidates, then being wrong becomes being harmful to the health, the wealth, and the security of our citizenry. The Earth isn't flat. And by the way, this is called gravity. I'm Neil deGrasse Tyson, bitch. You know, from television. And so these are real things we've measured yeah. on the real surface of Mars. They did their homework. If you do your, I'm a fan of what Mark Twain said. Okay. He said, first get your facts straight then distort them at your leisure. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. There that. you go. Yeah. I'm a fan of what Mark Twain said. I said, first get your facts straight, then distort them at your leisure. <laughs> 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 